Uh, I've always been, uh, always believed that if you listen to, listen to patients, they'll tell you what's really wrong with them. Uh, and a number of years ago, we, we kind of realized that people who have sleep disorders have a lot of headaches. And a lot of people with headaches have sleep disorders. But only in the last, uh, you know, last couple of years have we actually had the tools to actually prove that. So it's kind of my job, since I do a lot of the intakes for the, for the headache center, um, is to, to make sure the bases uh, have been touched. For, for common disorders that affect people's headaches. So that our approach is a little bit different. We, we don't just rely on drugs. Uh, most of the people who come to us have already been to that rodeo, as we say in Kansas here, before. Uh, we try to find out what's really wrong <coughs> and can impact headaches and then treat that. So, as I say, you know, a couple of years ago, three, we started realizing that sleep has profound headache, effect on headache. And, and we were able to show by overlapping electronic medical records with a fully digitized sleep medicine database that people who have headaches oftentimes have sleep disorders. They have breathing problems. Is this is true for very young 12-year-old uh, adolescent uh, girls and boys? It's true for uh, people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. And the way that they're that, that the sleep disorders are linked with a headache is generally through the neck. And the way that happens is people can't breathe on their back. They have to turn on their side. They sleep on their side, and the movement patterns that they have that are abnormal during the day, and Dr. Jackson will talk about those, and there are also profound relationship to headache, actually right, never get corrected, and they're made worse by sleeping position at night. So we in medicine have done the wrong thing for so many years. Uh, we've told people, if you snore, Sleep on your side. If you sleep on, it, but but I can tell you, being a, a boarded sleep medicine physician as well as boarded neurologist, we we have found that sleeping on your side is the worst thing you can do if you have a headache. Because if you look at someone who's sleeping on their side, their uh, neck alignment, their back alignment is never good. So. The, the old saying that we've developed, which is a new saying, is your body really wants you to sleep on your back. If you can't sleep on your back, you pay a price. That price is headache, if you can have headaches, neck pain, shoulder pain, hip pain, and back pain. All these things profound the body as a whole. It's all integrated. It's, uh, sleep is not just the absence of wakefulness. It's actually a time when the, the body skeleton of the body, the mind, and the brain restore itself. And this is critical, critical in concept of how you treat headache. Because there's no restoration that takes place when you're sleeping on your side or your tummy. That's the long and short of what I had to say. Dr. Weingarter sees, the, you know, we see at our institute uh, because we see referrals from the states around. People who have just had, you know, really drugs thrown at them because there are five, I was counting, you know, five approved FDA drugs. And that's the emphasis, so much of the emphasis of modern medicine. Whereas the whereas the real action is is in fixing patient's sleep, fixing patient's movement, is, movement problems that impact their headache syndrome, then if you, if you have those addressed, then, you got, then if you need pharmacologic package like drugs, 
then Dr. Weinger has to come into play. Uh, we we were able to. That's the reason I think we have a. I, the last time I heard Dr. Weinger talk about our headache center, we have a 90 percent improvement rate in patients' headaches. And it's because we address all the factors that we know play a role in it. 